we stay moving got off the ship immediately to get it tested so we can get on our flight I did not know that. That's fascinating and that's good. Let's see how she reacts to it now. But yeah, let's go. To Morocco. <laughs> that's how we came down. It's a really big plane. We made it to Portugal. It was, I was entertained by the show, but mommy was in and out on <laughs> sleeping and acting up. <laughs> but she did good. Um, it's freezing. It's 12 degrees Celsius. I did not get a chance to see the conversion yet on how cold that is, but it's pretty chilly. Um, I can't believe we're here. <laughs> Oh, the guy's about to move. I can't believe we're here. I mean, we got a three hour layover, then we go to Casablanca. But I'm still in shock at what this is doing. It's nerve wracking when travel days. Travel days are nerve wracking. But we chose a different type of stress. <laughs> but <laughs> what can I say? It's better than what we had before. Yeah. But it's music. We're in Europe, bro. <laughs> Can you believe that? These games for children or for the adults? <laughs> Bobby's all the way back there. <laughs> made it in Morocco after a how long was the flight um all the travel bouts all together was about what 13 hours 12 13 hours yeah, 12 13 hours so and with the and with the change in time oh yeah um we pretty much been up for 24 hours you know so we are really exhausted but we're trying to at least stay up and at least till about seven o'clock that way, we, our schedules don't be all messed up and discombobulated. So, with all of that being said, we need to go to the grocery store. We actually need to go get an adapter. Show them that because we did not get one at home. Yeah, my phone about to die. We don't have that. And we need to go get some water because you have to have water. If you, um, ex excuse my dryness because, oh, I'm tired. I'm beat. Yeah. This one here, she's been like. She's been going in and out of Slayer. Poor baby. I know. She sure can't tell. At least right now. Yeah, she is playing. What? Don't <laughs> poke yourself. You're going to break them earrings. Uh -huh. But it's a nice room. You want to do a quick tour? All right. We got a nice two beds. Not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Then. I don't, oh, we should have asked him about the lights. What about the lights? Remember it wasn't working? It does work. It's inside the bathroom. That doesn't work? No, it does work. Oh! We have a decent toilet. <laughs> Not bad at all. We have a bidet. Yep, I guess so. A shower, which I know drinks glass because... It's not a shower curtain. It's a decent bathroom. 
And we have a lovely, lovely section that I think it's. We have a nice section that I didn't notice we had until I saw it when I walked putting our stuff up. We have a balcony. Welcome to the balcony. You do the construction here. It's not bad. You want to lift it up? And that's the room. I mean, they got a closet. Don't be going to break that. I think it's a nice, spacious room. A hotel room. So, hotel, it's called Hotel Astrid. We thought it was 15 minutes away. Clearly wrong. Because we're trying to break the habit of always being an hour away from the airport. Did not work this time around. But we are looking forward to exploring Casablanca and what it has to offer. Even though it's a long journey and it's a little overwhelming, I feel like it's only nerve-wracking because it's something new. That's it. Trying to keep on being entertained while we try to get some work done. <laughs> call somebody. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. He ain't having it today. From Morocco, we decided we're gonna go see the king's palace today. He has houses pretty much in every, almost every city in Morocco. So we're gonna go see the palace in Casablanca. The only thing is you can't go inside unless I guess you're like a diplomat, but we're gonna still see the outside. And I'm telling you, one thing I've noticed, people over here don't really wear masks at all. That's one thing I noticed. And two, you're really actually very friendly, but it's very hard to know which language to speak to people because a lot of people are speaking in French and Arabic. And so I don't know which one I should be speaking to people. And when I hear people speak, they're all speaking, say, saying like hello in multiple ways. You hear bonsoir, you hear salut, assalamu alaikum. So you don't know which one to really lean on. So that's another little challenge because it's not just one language barrier, it's two. <laughs> but Actually, a lot of people here feel like we are able to communicate a lot better, right? Because I feel like they know at least a little bit more. Not a lot, but at least enough for us to communicate really well in English too, right? So it hasn't really been that bad of a language barrier. But all right, come along with us. It's been actually nice walking around over here too because the infrastructure is actually pretty good. At least the, look, the buildings look really pretty. And... It's just nice seeing a lot of different ways they built everything over here, you know? And just how everything just moves and works around here. But come along with us. Mm -hmm. 